Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to talk about the kill team prices and uh, whether it's good value or not, whether we think it's whether we think it's it's just right or maybe a little bit too expensive or even maybe a little too cheap. Also, we're going to talk a little bit about price creep um, and whether it is actually a thing and whether it even applies to this specific situation because I've seen a few people not 100% happy about the price of the starter set, uh, mostly comparing it to the Shadow War starter set. So we're going to talk about that a little bit as well. So. The price of the Kill Team starter set has been confirmed to be £80, 80 of your English pounds, and for that you get you get quite a lot, I mean two Kill Teams, 10 Skitari, um, which are in red plastic, which is nice, and 10 Gene Steel Cult Acolytes, which are like grey plastic, there's 8 frames of scenery, which is quite a lot of scenery, um, all of the models can be posed as well, they're not just like they're not the, the crappy monopost things, they are actually multipost. Um, 22 by 30 uh, double sided folding game board, which I don't think any, I don't think there was anything like that in Shadow War. Correct me if I'm wrong. There may have been, but I feel like an actual folding game board wasn't in that box. I could be could be wrong. The rule book, obviously, the, the core rules. Which is 208 pages and uh, data sheets and walk here for 16 Warhammer 40,000 factions, two individual eight page booklets, one for each kill team in the box, uh, universal tactic cards, attempts and mechanica specific tactic cards, and uh, Gene Steeler Cults tactics and data cards, and two sheets of card counters. To be honest, that seems like good value. I think that's pretty good. That's not bad. 80 quid. I kind of maybe would have paid it to be a bit higher than that simply due to the terrain. Um, terrain is relatively expensive, uh, even 40k, it can get pricey if you're trying to build up a full game board using official terrain. 80 is, I think that's I think that's doable, that is uh, a, a good splittable price, I think. You know, if you're going to go halves with someone, um, 40 quid each isn't terrible, and of course if you get it from a third party retailer that does discounts, for instance, like Element Games, if you're in the UK, there's an affiliate link in the description, just thought I'd throw that out there, um, <laughs> that is going to come out cheaper than that, so £80 is not bad I don't think. 25 quid for the Kill Team Core Manual, at first I was like, that is too expensive, I don't like how expensive that is, but realistically, the books, the, you know, the Codex, the rule books, all of that stuff, that stuff has always been, in my opinion, slightly more expensive than it should be. Um, that's not to say that they're bad products, that they're bad quality. They're not. They tend to be very good quality, tend to be very solid, very nicely produced. But it, it gets expensive real quick if you're trying to build up a comprehensive collection of codexes. And it's, yeah, it, it is what it is. It's a little much for me personally, I'd like to say cheaper, but I can also understand why it is that price. Now having said that the rule book is maybe a little too expensive for for what I would prefer, I can also completely understand why, especially things like core rule books for things like this, are a, a little more. For instance, much though I am intending to get the starter set, um, I, I don't actually need it. <laughs> the thing is, I already have a load of scenery, for instance. The big draw of the starter set is that it is the complete thing. You've got all the scenery, you've got that that you know that initial setup. It's all taken care of. You know, any other kill teams you buy or any forces that you make or whatever, you've already got that basis for the game itself. I don't actually need any of the scenery in that starter set because of quite a few years ago now, I bought second hand a bunch of scenery. Just a load of it. Um, I can't remember which kits they are at all, so don't, don't don't ask me which ones they are. I'm sure you can probably identify them in the comments, but I've got two of the smaller pieces just to show you. So I've got that lot, whatever those ones are. I think they're some sort of Sector Mechanicus type thing. At least that's the assumption that you'd make, given they're covered in Mechanicus style shit. Um, and the uh, cathedrally Basilica type look as well. Now, realize that that doesn't look like much. Uh, but down there, there is like another four pieces of this ranging from size, from pieces this size to pieces that are like double the width and double the height. And there's also the same of this. And then there's also a load more in a cardboard box under this desk. So I have more scenery than I know what to do with. I cannot physically use this amount of scenery 
on a game board because you wouldn't be able to actually play. You wouldn't be able to move your units anywhere, you just wall each other off, you'd never see each other, it would be a complete waste of time. I have a shit ton of this scenery. I don't technically need the starter set for the scenery. I could easily just get the core manual and I could apply scenery rules to what I already have. So the core manual being that expensive, from that point of view, it does make sense because if someone is already set up with all of the stuff they need and they don't need the board, they don't need the scenery, you've still got to try and make something off it. Um, and so for that reason, although I would prefer it to be cheaper, I can at least understand why the core manual is that expensive. The kill teams themselves, I'm, I'm now in kind of two minds as to whether I, I like the price point of these. So the kill teams are going to be £37.50, which is quite a lot. Um, so, the, like, the first ones are the Fangs of Ulfric and uh, Grog Skull's boys, and they are they are that much because they come with terrain. So, in each box, you get a new piece of terrain along with the kill team itself. Whilst I like the idea of that, I also feel like that is quite a hefty amount to be asking for these things. Um, it's weird, because obviously if you bought... For instance, if you bought Reavers and Terrain separately, it, it could well come to... Well, in fact, it probably would come to more than £37.50. But for some reason, it being a self-enclosed thing and it being advertised as a kill team, that price just seems off. It seems a little too high. Um, and I don't know whether that's an entirely fair attitude to take, saying that the, the actual box set, I think £80 is about right, um, I'm sure Shadow Wolf's like £75, um, which I suppose is the closest comparison. And the contents are roughly similar. You do get a game board this time around, which I don't believe you got in Shadow Wolf. Um, for some reason, paying just under half that for a kill team, even though it does include terrain, just seems a little bit much. I think if there was the choice of buying the kill team without the terrain, it would make it a bit more palatable. Um, and of course it depends on whether you want that terrain or not. Now, there's there's no real reason as to why you can't just make kill teams without buying the official boxes. You know, if, if we're talking Reavers and Burner Boys, well guess what, there's Reavers and Burner Boys kits that you can buy that you could just make anyway. Um, so in a sense, there is the option of buying the kill team without getting the terrain as well. But it's... I've kind of gone from thinking it's a good idea to thinking that it would be a good idea if it was maybe a little bit clearer. Uh, I mean, I would hope that not everyone who buys this is an existing customer. I'd hope that there would be people who would buy this because they want to get into it, who are not necessarily involved in 40k. Asking like £37.50 for a kill team, when actually it's, it's, it's not really a kill team. I think the phrasing is not great. I know the, the, the name of the game is Kill Team, but I think these almost need to be advertised as Kill Team expansions more than anything else, because £37.50 when you've paid £80 for the base game is quite a lot, and it, it kind of leaves a weird impression in a way. Um, in terms of the scenery itself, oh yeah, there'll be, uh, there'll be data cards for £10, um, which I believe is pretty much standard. And uh, the, the the terrain doesn't look too bad. Like the serene, the serenery, scenery. Um, <laughs> so you've got all of the sector imperialis stuff. The ruins is twenty two pound fifty. The administratum is thirty pounds. The basilicanum, which is an annoying word, is sixty pounds. Um, then the sanctum is forty five pounds. There's also the kill zone sector mechanicus game board, which is fifty quid, and the kill team squad carry case is twenty two pounds fifty. The carry case, it looks good. It looks nice. I, uh, you could quite easily make make your own for significantly less than that. But for the sake of kind of not bulking out the range, but making it a very making it its own thing with its own identity, I like the idea of it. Again, you could achieve something very similar for a lot less. Um, but the the scenery seems about about standard about what you'd expect and uh with the price of the scenery you can kind of get a feel for kind of the value of the box itself um i mean come on by, by itself like what the gene stealer the gene stealer cool stuff 
off the top of my head, I don't play Skitari or Gene Steel Cult, so this is a mild bit of guesswork, but I would assume that both of those kits, both the Skitari and the Gene Steel Cult, are around £25. I would probably assume £27 or £28.50, something like that. Could be less than that, could be quite a bit less than that. But that on top of whatever scenery you get, in terms of actual plastic content for the price, I think it is pretty good value still. Okay, so I thought I'd actually just check the price rather than guess like I just did. And uh, this Katari is cheaper than I thought, uh, £23.50 for a box of 10. And the Gene Stealer, um, the Gene Stealer Acolyte, the actual Acolytes, um, like the, the Acolyte hybrids, are £25 for a box of five. That's decent value um, in terms of what you're paying for for the squads and for the terrain. 80 quid does look a hell of a lot better than it did, and I, you know, I really thought it was pretty good. Now, price creep wise, this is where it gets kind of interesting because there's been a bit of comparison between this and Shadow War as to whether um, whether it should be more expensive. I think honestly, it's a little bit hard to tell, like realistically, whether it is worth more, worth less, whether the price point is is fair compared to old releases. I would certainly say that on the face of it, Kill Team looks to be getting a lot more support from the very start. They've said they will continue to support it. The the starter set box is decent value. You do get quite a lot for the money. You also get the game board that comes with it, which I don't believe Shadow War had, um, although it could be wrong. Really, it's a price increase of £5, and I don't think a price increase of £5 is a reason to get worried. The Kill Teams themselves is where I would show a little bit of concern but those seem to be down to a an, an interesting take on trying to expand the game out by itself and i think it's i think it's a little bit experimental and it'll be interesting to see whether it works the actual starter set i think the value is there i don't think there is really a significant price creep over previous releases and for the amount of stuff you're getting for the actual quantity of stuff that you're getting I, th I think it's not too bad. In terms of overall price creep across like the 40k range as a whole, well, yeah, things are getting more expensive. I mean, the Death Watch stuff that we had uh, not that long ago, the prices on those were genuinely frustrating. It was you, you literally pay more to play Death Watch Primaris, which is an annoying way of doing it. Um, and there were things that just didn't make any sense, like the Primaris Heroes coming with an entire sprue worth of Death Watch shoulder pads, which meant the price was way out of whack. It was like, what was it, like £35 or something for a single, a single model, just a single Primaris model. Stuff like that is cause for concern. Stuff like that is where you should get worried. For for Kill Team, I don't think, I don't think there is a significant price creep fra factor. I don't think it's more expensive than it should be. I don't think it's particularly more expensive than previous um, examples of box sets. It it looks to be something that has had a significant amount of time and uh, an effort put into it. And I think what it comes down to is not just the content of the box, which is what a lot of people seem to judge this stuff on, but the but the overall quality of the product itself. It's all very well looking at something and going, oh well. This other box had 10 sprues of scenery and this one's only got eight, therefore it should cost less. You not you need to take into account everything to do with it. Like the rule set, the 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 actual manual itself, the support that it gets after launch, all of that stuff needs to be considered before you decide to judge whether or not it's worth how much they're asking for it. And provided they do keep supporting it, provided we see things like updates for rules, we see things like FAQs, we actually get the you know, the continued support that they've said they'll give it. I don't really see a price increase of five pounds over a box from years ago to be a big deal. So I don't think like price creep is really something to get worried about in this one. The kill teams themselves it's a little more tricky um, because they are doing this thing with including terrain which technically increases the value of the box but if you don't want the terrain then actually that just makes it cost more for no reason but then you could easily just make the squads yourself from the kits that are already available in that respect it's I don't think it's an applicable thing um, I think it's something too different and too uh, 
too new to really try and compare to anything else. I mean, the, the proof will be in how many people actually buy the kill teams themselves. If we see a huge influx of people buying single squads so they can make kill teams, but no one buys the official kill teams, then obviously that is an experiment that has not worked. If we find that people are loving the fact that they can get terrain at a bit of a discount whilst also getting a squad to play with in kill team, then it will have worked well. We just have to wait and see. But overall, I think the prices are pretty good. I think they're not too bad. Um, I don't think I'll personally be going for actually buying the kill team separately. I suspect I would more likely end up just building them out of, you know, standard kits. Just because I already have all the terrain I will ever need and then some. Uh, but despite that, the actual box itself looks interesting enough and the terrain looks nice enough that I, I can justify grabbing it. So... I think really overall they've done a really good job with this release it, it would have been easy to half arse it i think it would have been easy to uh not put the effort in or you know just sort of coast along the amount of attention they've given it and the intentions that they have shown towards it and the way they've constructed it especially that core you know that 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 core box i'm kind of i'm actually genuinely very optimistic that this turns out to be a really big thing for them and we continue to see kill team content for a long time to come. I would like that. Um, you know, smaller games are something that I actually have the time for these days. <laughs> so this sort of thing is exactly what I want to see. So yeah, overall, price is decent. Release looks decent. The quality of it looks pretty good. And I'm, just, I'm, I'm happy. I'm genuinely happy about this one. I think they've done a decent job. What do you reckon, though? Cost enough? Cost too much? Cost too little? maybe no one's gonna say that are they uh, let me know in the comments down below and uh, I will well in the meantime click all the things you, you I say every time you know what I'm talking about and uh, I will see you for the next one <laughs> toodaloo